wisdom that God bequeathed to him. So wisdom goes with heart. If you do not have a large heart to, to overlook trivial issues, you may not have what it takes for you to receive such investment of the wisdom of God that has the capacity to influence your generation. My emphasis this morning, this evening, because of time, is not to go deeply into the things that have been said. My emphasis is in verse number 34. There were two manifestations, two direct manifestations that were occasioned on the account of the wisdom that God gave to Solomon. Are you with me? You are not with me. Verse 32. Let's read. And he spake 3,000 proverbs. So, some of the evidences of his wisdom or the um, instrument through which his wisdom was encapsulated. Because the scope of grace that was upon his life was so vast, he came up with a technology about how to encapsulate the wisdom so that it would be there just in case after he had passed on, someone needs to access the wealth of wisdom that God had invested in his life. He decided to pour in his wisdom into Proverbs so that if you can access the Proverbs, you'll be able to glean from the wealth of grace that was placed on his life. So he was able to crystallize 3,000 proverbs. Please help me ask your neighbor, how many proverbs have you generated? You, you sitting here. Because it is, it is easy for you to trivialize what is working in the life of Solomon. So I had to ask you that question. He crystallized 3,000 proverbs. 